Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the CNC table again. If you missed the last video, you can watch it in the playlist that this video is in. But what we did in the last video was actually set up the CNC table. And when I got it, all your wires and stuff, you had to build a table. And all your wires and stuff are supposed to be just drug on the ground. At least it doesn't say what to do with them in the instructions. So what I did was build this cable chain in that video to keep everything nice and tidy. Minus all the wires that we're going to be tidying up this video. And I also added that little green uh, funnel to the end of the torch. I have it taken off right now in preparation for this video. Because what we are going to be doing today is building a laser light that will help me line up my torch on my metal. So whenever you're sitting here at the table, let me see if I can get a good angle. So your computer's here, I have it just covered up right now. And it's kind of hard to figure out where the tip of your torch is on reference to the sheets of metal that you're cutting. So we are gonna be working on that and we are also going to be building a computer stand out of the stuff I cut last time. So this is the computer arm and then that is the computer tabletop. So once we get the laser done, then we'll start on the tabletop. So let's get right to work. So the 3D printer has finished printing. It took about six and a half hours on my Ender 3 S1 Pro to get this printed. I want to say a special thank you to the person that bought that for me. Um, it was a gift and it has been very helpful for different things in the shop. And what we have here is a spot for a carriage bolt. So you have a carriage bolt that slides into here and that will clamp down onto your machine torch. And then we have our little uh, laser diodes here. They slide into the ends here. These are angled holes so that whenever you are whenever you are using your lasers you can get a farther pitch because if they are vertical they do not have a good pitch on them and they won't shine as far so we have holes also in this tray up here to run your wires through as you can see pull your wires through i'm going to have a battery box here and then of course your other laser wire coming through there and then your lasers you just make sure whenever you do it plug this into the battery Make sure they're whatever direction you need, and then you just push them in from the bottom, just like so, and they stick out just a little bit. I have the tops open, so if they ever go bad, you can push, push them back out with the welding rod or whatever you need to. So this is going to be the first thing we get put on the machine. I still have to wait for that battery box to come in. It's going to be a 9-volt battery box, and then we will get that on the machine and start cutting some metal. So let's get right to work. So we got the laser on, as you can see, got the cross marks, everything's good with that. But the next thing we are going to do is cut some stuff out. So let's get right to cutting. We got most of the big stuff cut out now. This is gonna be holding the actual computer and the, um, the uh, control box for the motors. So I have these little tabs marked in here pre-cut so I know where to bend it on the hydraulic press. That's the first thing we're going to do is bend that. Then we are going to wrap this piece with our pieces of flat bar here that I cut out of metal. And then we will be welding the arm to the bottom of the computer table. And then we will also be welding the computer stand or the computer holder to the bottom of the table as well. So let's get this bent and then start welding this up. So the computer stand is all welded up now. Came out looking really good. The only thing we need to do now is build a plate for back here out of quarter inch steel and a plate for the leg over there out of quarter inch. And then we have our box over here, which is going to hold the computer. I'm trying to decide if we should put a backing on this and then run all the wires through a hole or something like that just to keep sparks from flying in there and getting stuff burnt and dirty. Uh, we have our hinge here. That's what's going to be welded to the two plates in between the arm and the leg. 
So we got everything loaded up in mock, got the torch ready on the piece of steel, so let's get to cutting. Now that we have the bracket attached and everything welded, we are going to give the stand a try. So let me see if I can get this on here. There it is, and it'll sit about like that. Good. So we have two problems. First problem is whenever you put any kind of weight on it, it really, really flexes. So I-beam tends to flex, kind of how I base this off of an I-beam. What I should have done instead is make it more of a tubing, like a square tubing. So what I'm going to do is cut two of these out, put them on each side to make this stronger here. If you're making your own, you don't need to cut three out. You can leave this one in the middle, not in there. And then the hinge is a huge problem. If I can get a good video of it and pick it up at the same time, you can just see how much flex there is in that hinge, which is pretty bad. So what I'm going to do, cut that hinge off, probably build my own hinge. And we will get back to it after I get all that done and see if it fixes our problems. We got it all put back together now. As you can see, we box the frame, get all three pieces in there, one on each side and one in the middle. And then I built my own hinge. Uh, this is a seven in, or seven eighths inch diameter pipe with a seven eighths inch bolt. I did have to do a little bit of belt sanding on the outside of this bolt for it to fit, but now there is zero slop in it. It's extremely uh, tight tolerances. And then the tabletop itself, doesn't have any flex in it anymore. So I'm very happy about that. The only thing is whenever I welded it, you can't really tell, but the tabletop warped a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is come back and add a piece of angle iron to the back side here. And the reason I'm going to do that is so later on in the future, I'm thinking about putting a piece of plexiglass here to help uh, the sparks from hitting the back of the computer kind of block everything. And if I already have this here, then I can just drill a few holes through it and bolt the plexiglass to it. So with that being said, we're going to get this thing taken apart one more, one last time, get that welded on, outside primed, painted, get it back installed, and we'll be good to go. So let's get right back to work. And that's going to be wrapped for this video. Thank you for watching. So we got the computer stand all finished up, looking really, really good. As you can see, swivels really nice, has no slop in it anymore. We are going to have to end it here, though. As you can see, I left the top primer. Reason for that is we are going to be adding this Eva foam boat decking to it. I'm going to take my palm router, cut some really neat designs into this. And then we will also move the computer and all that stuff over here in the next video as well. So if you would like to build this here, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if I get enough comments, I will create a public file on my Etsy page and I will uh, send that link to anyone that comments that you would like to build it. Um, with that being said, the laser itself, I was gonna make that a file also where you could download it. But as you can see, I took my laser off. I really wasn't fond of it. It was easier to just take the computer or the keyboard over to wherever you were working and move the torch by itself. This kind of just got in the way. And if you, as soon as you started cutting, it would splash water on the, the uh, lights and then it would mess up the, uh, the uh, projection of the lights. So overall, it was a kind of a fail, but it was worth a try. So with that being said, We'll pick up with all this in the next video. So thank you for watching. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.